taro, a sacred crop woven into creation stories, legends, and lore across Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. For nearly 28,000 years, sustaining migrating peoples throughout the world. Cultivated, cherished, and revered over the centuries, whole cultures thrived on the sustenance of this life-giving vegetable, the 14th most eaten in the world. The food of coronation feasts, babies' first meals, esteemed gifts to honor life's milestones of birth, marriage, death. Then one day, tragedy struck, when in 1993, the taro leaf blight came ashore in Samoa. The fungus spread rapidly, devastating the entire island's crops and economy, drastically altering daily life within just a few months. Botanists the world over rallied around this agricultural disaster and went on global expeditions to regather blight-resistant Colocasia esculenta varieties of taro. They brought 2,200 plants back to Fiji, where the Regional Germplasm Center, the Pacific's first seed bank, was founded to safeguard these vital genetic resources. The materials were characterized and screened for disease, and the 196 most distinct strains were preserved as the core collection. These samples were then sent to Samoa where Tolo Ayosefa began his tireless breeding efforts. Working with farmers and local communities, he cross-pollinated the strains and identified blight-resistant, high-yielding, and good-tasting crops. After 10 years of dedicated trials, the taro fields of Samoa were thriving once again with the five superior blight-resistant cultivars he had developed. Samples of these prized plants were then sent back to Fiji to be conserved at the Seed Bank, now renamed the Center for Pacific Crops and Trees, or CPACT, the world's center of taro, which houses 70% of the Earth's taro diversity. Here, Tolo's famous lines stand ready with the others to be deployed when needed to restore crop production and food security for cultures around the globe. May we continue to prioritize this crucial work of safeguarding our greatest tools of resilience for all the generations yet to germinate.